Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to be chiming in on some of the shenanigans of Babylon. I pay attention to everything and I think you should too. Every single thing needs to be watched. Everything needs to be analyzed. Now for the record, I want you all to know, realize and understand, as many of you already do, I'm not voting for anyone and I'm not for either candidate. I don't care in that regard. The concern that I have is how they manipulate things. They manip manipulate markets. They manipulate thoughts. They manipulate the environment, right? All of this is calculated and very intentional. Because of what they are able to do, the sorcery that they use, the manipulation that they use, they can cause people to act and respond a certain way just with what they say and what they do and what they report. So I want to show you something to me that was very, very clear and it jumped out at me um, as I saw this. Now, I don't care who the Teamsters endorse. They can come out tomorrow and change their mind. Right now, Teamsters is refusing to endorse anyone, right? They're not putting their endorsement on anyone, but I titled this a little differently. I said Teamsters refuse to endorse Donald Trump. Is this a huge blow to his campaign or Harris? Now, there's a, there's a reason why I titled it this way, and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. <clears throat> and this is what I mean when I say manipulation, how the media manipulates things, how they can bring about a perception. So, And, and they use this, and they have for a very long time, to shape the thoughts and the actions of people. They know how to get into households and cause people to react and respond a certain way. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to share with you this right here. So Fox Business, this is how they are reporting it. They say Teamsters will not make a presidential endorsement despite member support of Trump. Okay? Despite member support of Trump. It says internal polling found that Teamsters members favor Donald Trump over Harris by nearly two to one. So that was, to me, you didn't even have to talk about this to know that Teamsters uh, would be for Trump, but they just won't give him an endorsement. It was never even a possibility of them giving um, Kamala an endorsement. So I think this is very strange. Let me tell you why. Let me show you something else. <clears throat> before getting into the rest of this. Now look at this right here. I want to show you this right here. So, this is how NBC News is reporting this. They say, in a blow to Harris, Teamsters won't endorse either candidate in 2024. So, my thing is this, why are they saying in a blow to Harris? Because I see it as more of a blow to Donald Trump. More of a blow to Donald Trump because he already had two to one in favor of him from the Teamsters. The overall organization just decided they didn't want to endorse either candidate. Right? But you have NBC News saying in a blow to Harris. They report these things in a certain way for a reason. This is more of a blow to Donald Trump. But you have one reporting it as, is, as if it's a blow to Kamala Harris. Now, I know most of you don't care about any of this. I don't care who it's a blow to either. I don't care if the Teamsters endorse either one of them. I don't care. What my aim is, is to show you how the media can manipulate whatever they want. They can throw your mind off and they can send it into whatever direction they want. Now, NBC wants you to think that it's a blow to Harris when it's more of a blow to Trump because Trump right now is kind of falling behind, right? Like I said, I don't care. I really don't care if Donald Trump wins. He can win. He's already been the president. So to me, it doesn't matter if he wins or if she wins. Either way it do goes, this ship is going down. That's going to happen whether she's in or he's in. But the, the media manipulates things. 
the way they want them to be. Like I pointed out, when that young man um, had, there was a young man who uh, came into a restaurant where he saw a dude laying hands on his mother. And the young man responded quickly by eliminating the threat and he sent that dude to meet his maker, <clears throat> right? There were people in the place uh, that were frightened about what was going on. They didn't step in. It was an older guy, I think two older guys, and it was a, a female. And so this guy that was in this woman's face, he was in her face for, I mean, just being ignorant. You know, she was being very calm, but she was trying to get her order fixed. And you know, people coming out talking about she, should, she shouldn't be opening up her mouth. This is a man and all of this. But the truth came out. She wasn't opening up her mouth. She wasn't even arguing with him. She was like, she was very polite in telling this dude that she was waiting on them to fix her order. And he told her if he, if you open your mouth one more time, what he was going to do to her. And so she just said some simple words, wasn't argumentative or anything. The, the video showed that she wasn't even arguing with him. She's like, sir, look, I'm waiting for my order to be fixed. And so he started wailing on her. This woman's son saw this. He came in, got his peace, and eliminated the threat and sent that dude to meet his maker. Now, the way the media reported it, the media lied completely on that situation. They made it seem like this woman started texting her son and told him to come in and put some people's lights out. Nobody told them that. That information wasn't fed to them. They came up with that all on their own. They embellished this story so bad to where the woman and her son were ran through, were trashed in the media. He was taken from his mother because he was a minor, right? They lied and they lied and they lied and they lied. And again, let me repeat, nobody told them any of this. This was a story they conjured up themselves and embellished it so bad to where it had that mother and that son looking like they were on some type of crime spree or something. When really you had a, a loving mother and a son who was a very quiet, calm, nice young man who wasn't going to stand by and watch somebody lay hands on his mother. But the way they ripped that story to pieces, the media, they wanted to paint an image of that black mother and that black son like they were two monsters who set out to take that man's life. And that is not what happened. He was hitting her like she was a dude on the streets. And so this son responded like a dude on the streets. But if you remember the story, that wasn't even his character. He was a nice young man who just wasn't going to sit by and watch somebody do this to his mother. But the way these people do things, and I feel like they need to be sued for that. They tarnished this woman's character, the son's character. They told a complete and utter lie, which was false witness. It was a false witness that they put on these people. It was slander. It was all of that. But that's how the media does. That's what I want y'all to pay attention to. Like I said, I don't care about who the Teamsters endorses. I just wanted to show you just a very small thing. I pay attention to everything. And again, I'm going to show you <clears throat> how the Teamsters, they already, most of their members already supported Trump, but the Teamsters organization don't even want to put an endorsement on him, right? They don't want to endorse even him for whatever reason, for whatever reason. I'm not going to even try to you know, figure out the reason why Teamsters don't want to support or endorse a man that nearly two to one of their members already like. I wanted to point out to you how NBC News reported this as a blow to Harris. That Teamster, Teamsters won't endorse either one of them. How is that a blow to Harris? Donald Trump is the one who stood to lose something in this because he already was in their favor. So many of them are probably still going to support him. But this endorsement, to say that this endorsement not going for either candidate is a blow to Harris, that's ridiculous. 
How is that a blow to her? It's more of a, a more of a blow to Donald Trump because he's losing a lot of endorsements. Think about the fact that many in the Republican Party, even though they say they will remain Republicans, they say that they are voting for Kamala Harris this go round. They say that they will not put their names behind Donald Trump. They will not support Donald Trump. So that is again how the media manipulates things. This is why they used to, in, in the um, mid 1900s and even the early 1900s, they would send a false report, a false news report down south in the southern U.S. and say that some black man some, somewhere up north in Michigan or Detroit did something terrible to a so-called white person, right? And then they put that all in the news. They flooded in the news. And it would cause all of these people from the south to, to march themselves up to the north to come and show the black folk who's boss. Come to find out the whole story was fabricated by the media. And we know who controls the media. They do these things to control the people, to control the people's actions, to control the narrative, to control your thoughts. They use their meditation box to manipulate people's actions. That's why I covered this story. To show you again, they are up to it always. I bet if you used a microscope and you looked at every story, you would find their sorcery and their witchcraft craft, all wrapped up in every story. You can find their cunning nature in every story. Whenever they report something, oh, you can best believe, you can't believe everything they report. Anyway, share your thoughts on this in the comment section. What are your thoughts on everything I just said about how the media manipulates anything, right? Like I said, I don't care who wins. I don't care who loses. I don't care who gets endorsements. I don't care. All I care about is the fact that biblical prophecy is going to go down with or without either one of these people. They can decide to appoint Daffy Duck as president of the United States. And I know for a fact that even then, this country is finished. The Most High is going to see to it because his word has gone forth out of his mouth and it shall not return void. They refuse to repent. They refuse to do right. They refuse to look at Yah's people as the blessed people that they are. But they continue with their dirta of us. Babylon is going down. Listen, family, until the next live or the next video, stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.